well, she's fun. She's complicated. She's um, got a dark side. And she's a multi-dimensional character, you know, like you don't see too often in film. Um, well, what I said, that she's uh, not just a one-dimensional character. She has so many sides to her. And, um, and I think she's well-written. I really knew her from, from reading the script. Well, I think in a much more realistic way than most films do. Um, you get to see the many different sides of, of a woman. And also the way they relate to each other and uh, the friendship and the loyalty and the, the level of truth and honesty in, um, in a female friend, friendship. It's just a bunch of friends, um, old friends who tell the truth to each other and have a good time support each other and, um, you know, speak about what's real and what's important to them with each other and kind of hold continuity over a long period of time. So being an old friend, I think, is always a, a uh, honored place in someone's life and that's who they are to each other. And they also live in the same house that they grew up in, you know. And I think that's something we've kind of lost. We all move around so much, but they're really anchored in the in the uh, area that they grew up in and identified with it. And I think that gives them some kind of character and um, solidity as characters. Well, I think it's uh, I I think it's pretty normal. I mean, I don't know if normal is the right word. Is it maybe usual? Um, they're very close and competitive and um, um, angry sometimes and loving and um, want to stay together and be close and at the same time want to break apart and be separate. I think it's got all of the ambiguity of most mother-daughter relationships. I have gotten some good roles lately and uh, I just, I, I wish I had more to choose from. I wish there were uh, more to go around, but uh, I've been very lucky in the roles I've gotten.